Hello everyone, Mesolad Visual here with another video. In this video, we are going to look at 10 most important things to know if you want to become a pro in Archicad. Without any further ado, let's get started. Number one is the project template. To start being successful at Archicad Beam, you need just a powerful template. This provides the foundation necessary to efficiently create building information models and deliver the information and documentation in your BIM process. A good template makes you save lots of time by using commonly used presets of tools and operations. This will make you automate majority of your workflow and utilize also best practices. It should let you think about architecture and design to eliminate headaches of recreating things time and again. So if you want to increase your productivity efficiently and the quality of your architect, sorry, drawings, download the MS Beam Architect template below. Number two is the view map. The view map contains references to viewpoints from the project map, but each one is defined with a context setting such as a layer combination, pen sets, a scale, a graphic overrides, etc. Each story in the project map can be saved as a multiple views in the view map to set up a different view like uh, a construction plan, maybe plumbing plan, electrical plan and other variations. This view map is the home of your project basically. Number three is the classification and property systems. This is used to organize project elements or materials and their related information and to define which properties are available to an element or building materials. Availability of properties depend on its classification. Arcade comes with a default classification system. Um, but depending on your working methods and local standards, you may want to use a different or additional classification system. If you want to download or access different classification systems, check the link in the description. Number four, elements attributes. Archicad elements attributes are groups of defined settings available to your project. It is a foundation of creating any element to your project. For example, a wall composition and a surfaces are attributes which can apply to a wall element as you create them. This is a part where you define communication of your project. A good template has to have presets of different attributes. Number five is goodies, Archicad goodies. Goodies are a free add-ons that are developed by um, Graphisoft to complete Arcade with their specific abilities and features. Abilities like putting details to roof, your wall, and floor elements. Check the link in the description to download and install Arcade Goodies um, suit. Number six, documentation. There are different tools to document your project in Archicad. Being able to use interactive schedules to quantify each element and even go an extent of putting cost is fascinating. The best way is to streamline and automate the workflow. Number seven, project preferences. This is where you set standards and working methods specific to the project you are working on and which are saved along with the project. For example, defining the location, the units and coordinates of the project. It's an information that is embedded in the project for another user to access it. Number eight, solid element operations. Aggregate solid element operations or SEO as they normally call it are powerful tools to carve and model complex objects or forms. I also use it more often for cleaning connections of objects that are not in the same family of priority connections. Number nine, profile manage. 
The profile manager I use to create complex profiles of specific elements in the project. It works with the following tools, walls, beam, columns, railings, and object tool. So that means Architecture allows you to open beam, where you can collaborate with different professionals around architecture, engineering, and construction industry by sharing your files using IFC format. This IFC stands for Industry Foundation Class. It also possible to import models from other modeling softwares like SketchUp, 3D, Studio Max, and others by using this feature, the interoperability feature. These are the 10 most important features in ArchiCAD to master if you want to become a pro. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment below by asking questions of any arcade topic or suggestion on how to improve the quality of our tutorials. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more architectural videos like this one. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.